hey what's up guys and welcome to another arc garage video today i'm gonna be converting the cigarette lighter on my alfa romeo giulietta to a double usb charger since i don't use cigarette lighter and the usb port in the glove box is a bit too weak to charge the phone quickly i've decided to make it a bit more useful I'm gonna start by removing the lighter and to do that I gotta remove this handbrake gator. You got clips on each side so I'm just gonna pop them up. And now I can just pull the gator off. Now here are the clips that I was talking about. Uh, needless to say that you need to be careful uh, so you don't break them. Also, I'm gonna remove this plastic piece right here to gain a bit more access. I'm just gonna pull it up. And uh, it's also held in place with some plastic clips. There's one on each side and there is one more at the front. Before I can remove the light, I also gotta remove this black piece. That uh, black piece of plastic that you just saw, it's essentially a LED bulb which illuminates the lighter when you turn the lights on and to remove it you can just pull it off. Now I'm gonna use my trim removal tool and I'm gonna push it right on the edge of the housing and I'm gonna pull the whole thing out. Since it is a bit of a tight fit you just need to wiggle it out. And there it is. Now to get the connector off, you got this clip right here. Just press on it and pull the connector out. Now to do this conversion, I've bought this uh, USB socket. Uh, however, theoretically, you could even use uh, your uh, plug-in phone charger. However, I don't really recommend it because they're usually not quality made. This one right here is uh, very well made and I think that it will be perfect for this job. The installation is uh, quite uh, simple. You could just uh, like clip these two wires, plug them in and you would be good to go. Uh, to secure it in place, uh, there's this ring. So you would uh, essentially just have to like uh, put it from beneath and tighten it. The one thing that I don't like is the aesthetics. It doesn't really look too bad. However, I think that it can look better. So I'm going to put a bit more effort in it. I'm going to use this original socket, more specifically this uh, white part right here, uh, just to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Next, uh, I'm gonna test the wires to see which one is which. The black one, I presume, is gonna be ground. And it is. The middle one is gonna be our ignition 12 volts. And the yellow one right here, I think, is gonna be the illumination. I'm gonna turn the lights on. And now you can see that we got the voltage right here. As I just said, I'm going to use this white part just to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing. But first I have to remove this uh, metal insert. You got two clips. I'm just going to push on the metal and push it in. Now you can see that I still can't remove it due to this blue part. And uh, that one is held in place with some metal clips. So I'm just going to use my flathead screwdriver to uh, push them off. There it is. I can remove it and slide this uh, white part off. If uh, I try to put this uh, new charger in as it is, you can see that it doesn't fit. So I'm just going to cut it open and pull the circuit board out. Now I can just pull this uh, top off and get the whole thing out. Uh, this is essentially the only way that I can use this new charger to incorporate it into that white piece from the original housing. And the good thing about this one is I can see that uh, 
it is quite beefy but also on the front it has uh, four LEDs which are gonna be great for illuminating that white part and now you can see that uh, there's plenty of room to put this whole thing together the rest of the plan is gonna be to use that black top that I just cut off grind off some edges and uh, just make it look good Now that I got the access off I'm just gonna use some hot glue to secure my extension and I'm just gonna use my drill to get the edges right. Next I'm going to use some glue to put these two pieces together. Keep in mind that the connection uh, has to be strong. Alright here it is, everything is nice and tight, I've essentially glued it uh, all around and even the centerpiece. Now you can see how I've uh, applied the glue here and I'm just going to glue this whole thing to that white piece. All right, here it is, and I think that this is going to look great. All right, now I'm going to cut all three wires, and just to be clear, the yellow illumination wire is not going to be connected to anything. I'm just going to insulate it well. Uh, the black wire is going to be connected to the negative side of the charger, while uh, the red and gray wire is going to be connected to the positive side of the charger. I'm just gonna put two female connectors on those two wires and I'm just gonna plug the new charger in. Alright, I've put everything together and I gotta admit I'm more than pleased how it came out. Here it is in the complete darkness and as I said before those four LEDs on this USB charger are more than enough to illuminate it at night. So there really isn't uh, any need for that one LED that was mounted to original housing. Uh, the only bad thing about this setup is that these four LEDs are always on uh, when the ignition is on. So anyway that would be all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If you did hit that like button and support our channel by subscribing so we can make more videos like this.